What's up everybody, it's Brandon once again with Plant Marks of Pot and today we're talking about the Ficus Alley, also known as the Ficus Maclalandi. And today the information that I dug up on this one because I just got it. If you saw some of my previous videos, you would notice that this was where my Birds of Paradise was. I didn't think it was the best fit for a Bird of Paradise because as you know, they need more light. So I got it by the window. And now the beauty of this plant is that it does not need ultra bright light. Before I dig into this plant and the information about it, I want you to not forget to hit that subscribe button, give it a like, and you'll definitely be notified about more video content that I have coming your way. But once again, the Ficus Alley, so it is from China, Southeast Asia, and India. And what I can tell you about it is once again, doesn't need bright light. It will prefer bright and direct light, but you can totally get away with giving it just a medium light. And so what you might not notice right now is that I have a plant, a fluorescent light behind me. Uh, I just have it turned off right now or else it'd be beaming right into your iris and I don't think you would like that it doesn't make for the best best videos either so this one it is really low maintenance I mean I think this is a perfect beginner plant because so get this if you have it in a 12 inch pot like I have it in a 12 inch pot you can let it dry out to like two inches so you're barely watering you know you might be watering once every other week every week and a half tops it you know takes medium light so that means it's not perspiring water through the leaves as much as plants that are in really bright direct sunlight and so that gives you a lot of flexibility with this one also too what you get a lot of flexibility with is that you can move this plant around it is very similar it's uh very closely related to the ficus benjamina and so the ficus benjamina as you know or you may come to find out is that it's very finicky it's going to drop its leaves anytime you move it and what i learned about my ficus benjamina is that don't give up on it if it does that it and i'm gonna make a video on the benjamina coming up pretty soon here but It'll drop its leaves, but that doesn't mean it's dead. It'll come back. It likes to freak out like that. It's not a big deal. That's how it rolls. But anyway, back to the ficus alley. So it's got these long strap like leaves that grow very slow. I get a lot of people asking me about, you know, all their different types of ficuses and what's going on with mine. Why isn't it growing very fast? Most don't, they don't grow extraordinarily fast, but this one is known for not growing fast at all. So don't be upset if you're not seeing rapid growth, it getting bushy and lush. That's just what it does. It doesn't, that's part of being kind of a medium to lower light plant. And humidity, you just need enough humidity. If your skin is starting to dry out, you probably need more humidity, but it just needs a medium level of humidity. I always play the safe bet and just put it on a pebble tray, call it a day. Everything that I come across seems to just think that's fine. Or there is the concept of grouping your plants together and they all kind of perspire humidity around each other. So it's a real simple, easy plant to take care of. What I would warn you of is make sure you're not overwatering this one because you see this nice thick, I mean, look at that, that bark there on the stem. It's got a really thick trunk, really pronounced, uh, beautiful variegation on it. It's almost like it was dappled on but that is one thing that will rot if you're watering all the time. So 
Don't love it to death. Just water it every other week. It's not a timer type thing. It's not something that you do every Wednesday. It's just stick your finger in the soil. Don't worry about your manicure, your pedicure. It will be fine. Stick your finger in the soil. And once you get about to your, your knuckle, this one right here, and it's still dry, then you're probably good to go ahead and water. If it's in a smaller pot, you could get away with watering it. Smaller than a 12 inch, you can get away with watering it when the top inch is dry. But give it a nice, well-draining potting soil. Something like, I mean, I use Fertilome, I use Espoma. Uh, find one with a good mycorrhiza. That's what I repotted this one with. And I do see small, little leaves um, starting to, I'll give you a zoom up, but I see little leaves coming in and so once again the ficus alley is really simple really straightforward to take care of it hasn't given me any problems i've had it for over two months now i moved it it was right in front of my window and i moved it here uh, about a week ago has not dropped any leaves and if you're looking for something that's simple and you're still kind of wanting to play it safe and you don't want to Mm, chance it then give this one a shot i think you'll like it i love the look of it i love the tropical vibe that it gives off interesting bark really cool leaf shape and color i would go out there and get one they're not too difficult to find and so when you see it grab it and that's what i got for the ficus alley once again thanks for watching plant marks the pot Give it a like and subscribe. Be on the lookout for a whole series on Dracaena. Everything from the Dracaena marginata, the kiwi, the lemon lime, the Tarzan. We've got the Dracaena Hawaiian, the Hawaiian one, <laughs> the Wernicke, uh, all of those Dracaenas that seldom covered. I'm going to be going over all of them. So stay tuned to this channel and I've got more tropical house plants for you to learn about in future videos. Thanks again.